the European Space Agency ESA has released a set of newly processed images from its ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter that may offer the most detailed view yet of one of the most mysterious visitors ever detected within our solar system. The object, designated 3I Atlas, is only the third confirmed interstellar body known to have entered the solar system, following 1I Oumuamua in 2017 and 2I Borisov in 2019. First discovered on July 1st by an international collaboration of observatories scanning the inner edge of asteroid belt, 3I Atlas immediately drew attention for its unusual brightness and behavior. Astronomers quickly realized that its hyperbolic trajectory indicated an origin beyond the Sun's gravitational influence. That single fact, its path curving outward rather than looping around the Sun, placed it firmly among the rare class of objects not born of our solar system. Yet its physical characteristics have proven far stranger than anyone anticipated. When ESA's ExoMars orbiter captured it passing within 29 million kilometers of Mars on October 3rd, the resulting image left scientists both thrilled and baffled. The data revealed a glowing spherical body with a faint linear extension, but no tail of dust or gas, the hallmark of a comet's volatile activity. It looks nothing we've seen before, said ESA imaging specialist Dr. Corrine Lefort. It's too bright too smooth and far too stable to fit any known category of interstellar debris. The resemblance between the ExoMars observations and those taken by the Hubble Space Telescope in late July confirmed that this was no imaging anomaly. Despite its small aperture, ExoMars colors and stereosurface imaging system, gases, achieved remarkable clarity a compact, radiant core surrounded by a diffuse halo roughly two pixels wide. The background stars in the frame appeared as crisp, unmoving points, a telltale sign that the glow was intrinsic to the object and not caused by smearing or reflection. Initial analysis by ESA's photometry team indicates that the light emitted by 3I Atlas is not solely reflected sunlight, Instead, it appears to include a component of intrinsic luminosity, possibly fluorescence from a surface material energized by solar radiation or even faint thermal emission. More surprising still, the object has maintained a remarkably consistent brightness over multiple observations, showing none of the flaring or dimming expected from a comet as it approaches the sun. Adding to the intrigue is the possibility that even sharper data already exist. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter reportedly targeted 3I Atlas during its close approach to Mars, employing its high-resolution imaging science experiment HiRISE Camera, a half-meter telescope capable of resolving features as small as 30 kilometers per pixel. Such imagery could reveal whether the object's surface scatters light diffusely like rock or specularly like metal. However, those images still remain unreleased. A prolonged government shutdown in the United States has delayed data processing and public dissemination from several NASA missions, including Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Mission officials have confirmed that the observations were executed successfully and that the raw data are secure, but until government operation resume fully, the scientific community can only wait. That delay has inevitably ignited speculation. In absence of new information, online forums and social media have filled with theories ranging from the plausible to the extravagant. Some suggest that the data are being withheld because 3i Atlas shows signs of artificial origin, a conjecture inspired partly by Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb's long-standing argument that some interstellar objects could represent technological debris from distant civilizations. Others take a more pragmatic view, attributing the delay to simple realities of bureaucracy and funding interruptions. For scientists, the task remains the same, to understand what the available data can tell them without venturing into unfounded conclusions. Even without the missing high-rise images, the known facts are perplexing enough. Unlike any natural comet observed to date, 
3i atlas displays a faint extension of light oriented toward the sun rather than away from it. This inversion contradicts established models of outgassing, which predicts that sublimating volatiles produce tails that stream outward under solar radiation pressure. If 3i atlas were an icy body, its tail should trail behind its trajectory, not point sunward. The phenomenon suggests either a composition fundamentally different from that of ordinary comets or a process of energy emission not driven by sublimation at all. Measurements of its brightness indicate another anomaly. A conventional comet grows more luminous as it nears the sun and its surface ices vaporize, forming expansive clouds of gas and dust. 3i Atlas, however, has maintained a steady apparent magnitude, implying that its albedo, the fraction of sunlight it reflects, remains unchanged despite increasing solar heating. This could indicate a surface that is unusually resistant to thermal alteration, perhaps metallic or composed of refractory silicates. Most interstellar visitors approach at random angles, plunging through the solar system from above or below the ecliptic plane, that flat disk in which the planets orbit. 3i Atlas, by contrast, travels almost perfectly within that plane, a coincidence so statistically unlikely that some researchers have called it the geometrical uncanny. Natural explanations do exist. The object might once have been part of a circumstellar disk in another planetary system, ejected in such a way that its orbit coincidentally aligns with ours. Yet the probability of such alignment occurring by chance is vanishingly small, on the order of one in the several thousand known trajectories. To a few theorists, this precision evokes the unsettling idea of deliberate guidance, though no evidence yet supports that claim. Estimates of the object's size suggest that it could be far larger than its interstellar predecessors. Based on its apparent brightness and assumed reflectivity, 3i Atlas is believed to span between 2 and 5 kilometers in diameter, making it potentially 10 times larger than Oumuamua and several times larger than Borisov. That mass and density raise significant questions about how such a body could survive interstellar travel, moving through the sparse but relentless haze of interstellar dust at tens of kilometers per second. An unprotected object could endure constant micrometeoroid bombardment. To remain intact, it must be either unusually cohesive or shielded by a hardened crust capable of dissipating immense kinetic energy over eons of exposure. The next few months promise critical opportunities to test competing theories. On October 29th, 3i Atlas will reach perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, at just under one astronomical unit. If the body contains frozen gases or volatiles beneath its surface, this encounter should trigger visible activity. Jets, plumes, or developing coma that could be detected by both ground-based and space-based telescopes. By December 19th, it will make its nearest approach to Earth at roughly 1.8 astronomical units, still distant but close enough for high-resolution spectroscopy. Then, in March 2026, it will pass within 54 million kilometers of Jupiter, potentially allowing NASA's Juno spacecraft to conduct long-range observations of its thermal signature and reflectivity. Each of these encounters offers a chance to collect the missing pieces, light curves, spectral fingerprints, and polarization data that can reveal whether the surface behaves more like rock, ice, or metal. Variations in brightness could indicate rotation, suggesting an irregular shape, while steady light could imply symmetry and smoothness. Spectroscopic measurements could identify specific minerals or ices, while infrared data might show whether the glow includes a thermal component. Together, these data sets could finally constrain the object's true nature. Interstellar objects such as 3i Atlas hold immense scientific value. They are messengers from beyond our own planetary nursery, carrying within them the chemical traces of alien solar system. By studying their composition, astronomers can infer the diversity of materials and processes that shape planets elsewhere in the galaxy. 
Every interstellar object is a time capsule, said Dr. Marina Ortiz of the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy. They're fragments of planetary systems that formed under different conditions, snapshots of other worlds. Yet 3i Atlas challenges even this framework. Its combination of brightness, stability, and orbital alignment distinguishes it sharply from Oumuamua and Borisov, both of which behave like familiar commentary of asteroidal bodies. Oumuamua, discovered in 2017, was small and rapidly tumbling, with an unexplained acceleration that led to speculation about solar sail-like properties. Borisov, found two years later, behaved more predictably, exhibiting a classic cometary tail rich in carbon monoxide. 3i Atlas seems to belong to neither category. It is brighter than Borisov, steadier than Oumuamua, and follows a path that seems almost too deliberate to be random. Theorists have proposed a range of possibilities. One model envisions a fragment of a differentiated planetary crust, material once part of a larger world torn apart by gravitational tides. Over a million of years, such debris could be baked by cosmic radiation, forming a dense, reflective shell that resists further erosion. Another idea possessed that 3i Atlas might be metallic asteroid core stripped of lighter elements, its smooth surface a product of countless microscopic impacts. More speculative still is the notion that it could be a remnant of artificial construction, a derelict probe, a fragment of an ancient spacecraft or debris from long-extinct civilization. While such hypotheses remain firmly in the realm of conjecture, the observed data do not immediately rule them out, keeping the discussion alive within both academic and public circles. To move beyond speculation, astronomers emphasize the need for systemic monitoring. Building a complete light curve tracking the object's brightness over time will be essential. Periodic fluctuations could reveal its rotation period and shape, while a perfectly steady light curve might suggest a uniformly reflective body. High-resolution spectroscopy breaking down the object's light to constituent wavelengths could identify absorption features characteristic of specific elements or compounds. If metals such as nickel were detected, the implication would be profound. Beyond the mystery of this single object lies a broader issue of preparedness. Humanity currently lacks a coordinated global framework for observing and studying interstellar visitors. Each new discovery triggers a race among national space agencies, university observatories, and amateur astronomers to collect as much data as possible before the object fades from view. In both previous cases, Oumuamua and Borisov, critical opportunities were lost because telescope could not be aimed quickly enough or lacked the right instruments to capture full spectra. 3i Atlas, with its months-long window of visibility, represents a chance to change that narrative. The cultural and philosophical implications are no less significant. The arrival of an object like 3i Atlas confronts humanity with the profound question of whether it is alone. A discovery confirming artificial origin, however remote, would transform every aspect of civilization from science and philosophy to religion and politics. Even without such confirmation, the very act of searching compels a form of humility, a recognition that humanity's grasp of the universe remains incomplete. For now, the scientific consensus remains cautious. Most researchers favor natural explanation, however unusual. The sunward glow might result the asymmetric heating with reflective materials concentrating light on one hemisphere. The orbital alignment could be coincidence magnified by observational bias. Yet even under conservative assumptions, 3i Atlas stands as a scientific marvel a massive, intact fragment of another star's planetary system offering a rare glimpse of matter forged under alien conditions. As 3i Atlas continues its journey, telescopes around the world, both professional and amateur, track its progress nightly. Coordinated campaigns organized through Minor Planet Center aim to collect continuous photometric data through the remainder of the year. Ground-based observatories in Chile, Hawaii, and Canary Islands are preparing for its perihelion passage, while ESA's ExoMars team plans further imaging opportunity as the object recedes. 
Meanwhile, researchers await the eventual release of NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter data, which could confirm surface characteristics with unprecedented precision. Even if those images resolve many uncertainties, others will surely remain. Cosmic visitors rarely conform to expectations, and new discovery forces astronomers to revise their definition of what is possible. Whether 3i Atlas proves to be a rocky fragment, a metallic relic, or something wholly unforeseen, it will have already reshaped the way scientists think about the interstellar exchange, the invisible flow of debris linking distant worlds across light years of space. In the end, the story of 3i Atlas is not only about the object itself, but about humanity's encounter with the unknown. It underscores both the power and fragility of our systems for inquiry, the dependence on instruments, budgets, and bureaucracies that can at times hold discovery hostage. Yet, it also reveals the enduring strength of human curiosity. Despite the data gaps, despite the uncertainties, the search continues. At this moment, as 3i Atlas glides silently between Mars and the Sun, it carries with it questions older than science itself. What worlds has it seen? What forces shaped it? And what other travelers, perhaps unnoticed, are already passing through these spaces between our stars? Whatever the answers, one truth is clear. The cosmos is still capable of surprise. And in that surprise, in the act of looking upward and wondering, humanity finds its oldest and most enduring connection to the universe.